Hello and welcome, this is Twist, your boy Twisty and today we're going to show top 4 defense of tractor ammo storage and this is a defense that you should never lose in theory. Now the only times we ever lost to this is when they bring Blackbeard, Monty and Ying plus grenades plus Thatcher or Twitch grabs the mirror. That's the situation when you lose a defense or if your teammates over peak. So this defense you need mirror smoke, probably... Mute's decent, Jaeger's necessary, and we bring the Doc as well. Maestro's also good, Echo's also good. So, we will explain this quite quickly with the mirror, so... This is what mirror should reinforce. So you can mirror it this way, or you can put the mirror here and then shotgun this side. Like, it really doesn't matter too much. If anything, it might be better to put it on this side, yeah, just so you can get like a better angle when I'm pushing in. So, the old fashioned way of doing this, so smoke will help you, smoke will help you with these. So what you want to do is you want to shotgun, you and smoke will shotgun out this wall. Not that you, you don't want to be able to vault through this, it gives them too much, attacking team too much options. And you're going to mirror this wall. So, the old fashioned way was you played a mirror on this wall. The issue with this mirror, first of all, is that unless you're playing ACOG, I say this, this wall would all be open. But you, unless you're playing ACOG, you're not going to kill this person. Like, you just, you're just not. It's not going to happen. Like, consistently, it's not going to happen. Maybe PC, sure. Console, probably not. That was the first problem. Second problem is that this floor is spammable. This is the only floor on this site that's spammable. So, the moment they got bottom floor and they opened here, or they ash charged this, you can't play these mirrors. So, this mirror is, is, is still essential, but it's it's not crucial. Like, if they grab this mirror, it's not a major issue, because there's so many positions on this one site you could still play if the mirror was popped. There's so many angles. Uh, technically, you could still play off the bomb. Because so, these are indestructible. Whereas with this mirror, this floor, this floor is also spammable. You can put it on this one. Instead, but I don't like that because of just the angles of that window. So I put it here, and then you can play off this mirror with this. You smoke will play here, and then mirror plays inside the B bomb with C4. And then this is not spammable as well. So I'm going to show you with smoke. Smoke should take barbed wire here. He can potentially take. Actually, no. Smoke should take impacts. So. It should be it should be Doc, Mirror, Jaeger, and then Smoke, and then you could potentially t and then the last one is flexible. You could take Pulse, you can take Maestro, you can take Valkyrie. You want to play some kind of information operator. You don't really want to pick like a. Uh, I mean, Rook's actually not that bad because when you open up all this wall, if someone plays here with an ACOG, so the Doc will be playing Green Box. If, if a Rook played here with ACOG. You can allow the Jaeger to roam, and then you have really good angles. And what makes this setup even stronger is that because you've got this wall open... So I tried playing with this wall reinforced, but it doesn't really do much for you. Like, they can kill you off rotation with it, but... It's actually more beneficial to have this open, because then this person can then help the Smoke and the guy at green box to get pushed. So... With this mirror, you can quite... You can quite comfortably quite comfortably smoke the uh, back of the plant at B. Now, reinforcement wise on the site, so you have one, two, and then you also want to grab this hatch. So really, realistically, smoke should be grabbing these. Smoke could grab these, I'd say Doc could potentially grab these as well. 
because if you're taking impacts on smoke, so you want to grab that hatch, and you obviously you obviously want to grab this B hatch. It just add, gives them too many angles if you don't if you don't pop it. So that would make four. And then smoke can do this with him if he's got impacts. He doesn't need impacts for this, but I think just for time wise, it, just to help you, I probably would put them on. So this brings up to six. And then you're gonna do seven, eight rotation here. My having actually having impacts on it is pretty decent to be able to time. And then your last two reinforcements are gonna be this wall, these two. This ha this is the reason why this B hatch has to be reinforced is just because you can see like you can actually throw grenades up and everything to the site, and it's just too good. So that's what smoke can do if he's taking if he's taking impacts. Mirror should obviously fall. Uh, Doc plays a bulletproof camera here, but I'll show that when we go so when we go to Doc. So yeah, the smoke's two reinforcements are basically the downstairs of this room. Like you can probably do this straight away, and then just impact or make the rotations straight away if you want to keep barbed wire, and then come back up and help Mirror with the shotgunning. Because Mirror should have more than enough time to do all of this. So now we're going to go over the the Jaeger, because they actually have quite a bit to do. And then we can go over Doc. I would probably say, to be honest, Rook is a good, still a really good option for this site because you can keep the impacts and then you can have Smoke play the wire. So as the Yegi, you're kind of the only two pieces of wire. So you, what you actually want to do is you want to put the wire in a position where they can't sit here and melee it. You want to put it so that if they try to push round, it's probably not that great. Here's fine. So if they try and push round to kill the dock, they're going to be slowed. And it's the same with here, so you could put it on this window, but it doesn't really do much for you. Unless you're going to see for them. See so the idea is if they're going to go round and they want to try and kill the dock, they'll get slowed. Or you could put this wire further back. Five seconds to insertion. Just to make it more awkward, so they'd have to wide peek. Bomb locations are secure. ADS wise. It's pretty like self-explanatory actually. So you wanna just put them next to mirrors. So the one at green is, so you actually I wish you had four, because if you had four, so generally next to the mirrors is fine. If you had four ADSs, you could put another one over here, or you could take one off green box and put it here, because if the green person the green box gets flashed or whatever, I mean, if they get naded, that's an issue. They can get naded pretty easily. So you could probably take the, the, the ADS off the A site and then stick it in B next to the mirror so she has like a something to count out grenades, but it's really up to you. Yeah, I was making a video. So then Jaeger's okay, two to leave. Uh sure. Jaeger's two reinforcements, you can you can do this you can do this wall. I mean you can just mean you might it's fine. So you should have more than enough time after putting your ADSs down to reinforce this wall. Just as long as these bottom walls are done, it's 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 fine and then you can then just reinforce this too. And then Jaeger should be the main roamer. That's why reinforcing downstairs is fine. And your whole point is just to protect basically them spamming something here. This window does lead out to here, so it's quite a common place to rappel. Same yeah, with this one. Up. Quite a common rappel spot, so holding this room is not the greatest seconds. room. You do have this wall is destructive this room, though. Left. And you would have a rotation. So you could maybe make the rot yeah. You could maybe make the, ro yeah. make the rotation here and just reinforce these two sides, but it's however you want to play it. All those 
uh, impact holes just basically make the person the roamers have positions to play because you can play three on the bomb site. So I'm gonna show you what Doc would do. Doc would Doc should take a bulletproof cam. And the reason we're taking a Doc over say a Rook is because you've got two smut shotguns already on the team. And also the bulletproof cam is really useful. And in addition, like so you want most people when they play this spot they're gonna peek this. Now this isn't recommended. Because if you lose this gunfight and you die, if any of these players die, then someone from downstairs has to come up. And it makes it really difficult. So Mira can actually play this Mira if she wants to, or she can play in the B site. You can four stack it with with smoke. Like whoever's the whoever's the not Jaeger and then Doc and then Mira. Or you can play Ten seconds. just smoke, Mira, Doc and the two roamers, but this Five site doesn't left. really need roamers, like it, it just needs someone to watch the stairs. And then basically, so your bulletproof cam spot is here. So having the dock means you can just keep stimming yourself whenever they try and nade you and they miss nades and whatever. Like You can also see the cross subtractor from here. So if you've practiced with this gun then you can probably hit that shot. And this is the bulletproof cam angle. See, it's pretty much the whole up that that hallway. Uh, it, it's not necessary to have the bulletproof cam because you can have so much info in the mirrors, but it's just an extra thing uh, in case they try and smoke it or whatever. Or you could play you could play a maestro on here. So you don't have to worry about Habana. You don't need a bandit because you don't need to worry about um, Habana pellets because you can just shoot, this dot can shoot them off. The same with this side. So a couple of angles to show you, so there's this box, you can also hop up in here, it's not really that great, but it might be a bit unexpected, so you can actually hop up in here. You can also, I believe you can, yes yeah, so you can actually hop, I'm sure you can hop up on this box. Maybe not. Probably not. There's a way to hop up in here, and stick on it. But the better angles are in this room. So you have this. And that allows you to see, you can probably see it there, it allows you to see that door frame if you make it more to the right. And you have on this tractor, you can also, using this angle, see across there. Not the greatest spot, you're not, probably not going to get any kills from it, but you can still see. In case Mirror's calling, they're all pushing that way. Then the you can also you can hop here. You're probably better off hopping here. But if you want to hop on the tractor and not get shot from the door frame, then you can do that as well. So that's Doc. So now the last character is really flexible. So Pulse is good, Rook's good, Valkyrie's good, Echo is good, Maestro is really good, Legion, even Ella. You really don't want them to pick something like a Vigil because, or like a Vigil Alibi, because they're really not that useful on this site. This site is literally just holding positions and just knowing where the enemy's team is coming from. That's all you need. Um, outside Valka cams are not that essential either. So I'd probably say Echo and Maestro or Rook are the best ones. You just want another ACOG pretty much. So I'm going to show you some good Echo drones. So that, yeah, so this person. So Mirror and Smoke will probably, so Mirror will do these ones and then like the Doc or someone else can do the, the two hatches but other than that, everyone else, other three just reinforce downstairs. As long as you're like free speed like Jaeger does the um, the double green wall downstairs then it's fine. And everyone else, the other two who know what they're doing will just reinforce downstairs. So Smoke will reinforce downstairs and then someone else like Doc, Doc can probably reinforce downstairs. So you, as, as the Echo you'd have wire, so you can stick the wire like on the stairs, like on the stairs down there. So really good Echo drone spots. Or up here. Because then you can see all of this. I actually, actually threw it over, never mind. So there's always just good general positions to put them because it, they're actually quite hard to see. 
once invisible on these on these on these walls. And when you come in here, you're not going to be looking for this drone. So unless you're looking for it, it's going to be quite hard to see. And the same goes with the other one. So this drone can actually move around quite a bit. You can put it on these barricades, but it's, you're going to see it. So I would just say throw it up here. Or even throw it up in this room. Just as actual extra cameras. None of these floor is is like C fourable, like not, which is a shame. So you only just got pretty much this side. So if you look here, that's that is extremely hard to see. And you can get so much information from this too. These are like the main spots they're gonna push from. They'll probably play a black bin on this north repel. I believe that if you're standing on the stairs and if someone repels underneath that window, they can get an angle. But it's so unlikely you'll get killed by it, I wouldn't even think about it, so. So yeah. And then Echo would play inside A site with ACOG. He could take mirror's position, mirror can play here, then you have your smoke, and then your rook, your dock, I mean. That's the top floor defense, pretty much sorted. I would probably, in my opinion, I would take Echo. Uh, it just gives you so much information, and his, his drones are really strong, so. Yeah, that's top floor. You should never, the only time you lose it is if you base, your team feeds kills, basically. Because if you're in that situation, then even if they put you in Monty or Blackbeard Glass, you have so much crossfire, you shouldn't really lose the round. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Use this in ranked. Beat every team you come across who's not ready for it.